guys, this is our, our budget for June 1st through June 15th. We do our budget um, on the 1st and 15th of every single month. Um, that's how we split our bills. And that's how it's been working for us. So this is our My Savvy Sense wallet. This is what I use for our envelope system. And this is our coupon holder. This is what we use for our sinking funds. And our sinking funds we have our car maintenance money and then we put like overflow money like for monthly and groceries um, that we want to save up for so um, to begin I always go through my wallet first just to see what we have in here left and all of our thoughts are empty minus justice he still has his forty dollars so we're not going to take out anything so I put a, a just zero here for him because we didn't spend it on anything I was saving for clothes to buy him, but um, I remember that my mother-in-law sent us a lot of clothes, and I went through the bins, and I found some clothes that fit him, so um, I'm going through the bins first before I decide whether we need to get him anything for clothes, but so far it doesn't look like we need anything for him. And then also I made $80 by babysitting. I already spent $20 um, buying my boss her going away present. And um, budget here twenty dollars for out of my babysitting money for our goddaughter's birthday present. Today's her birthday, so we need to buy her her present and get it sent to her. So I'm just gonna put this back in this slot. And if you watch our last budget videos, we're putting our babysitting money one twenty towards groceries and twenty towards um, our monthly household items. Because we're going to do one large grocery haul and household haul once we move. So I like to prepare for that. So that way we don't stress about that once the time comes. And I probably won't be babysitting that often no more. But um, I'm picking up some extra hours. And I'm going to try to budget my hours. So I can know how much I pull out for my check. For the monthly and the, and the um, groceries. So I can continue saving for that. So um, I did want to add that we did get a check for $588 from our um, title company for our house and we deposited that straight into savings and we're expecting another check of $750-ish and we're expecting that within four to eight weeks and that's from our realty company as part of their realty program. So that's going straight into savings too. We are in baby step two, but because we are moving, we are kind of preparing um, for that move. So um, we're putting as much as we can into savings. We want to have at least two to three months worth of savings just um, to be on the safe side in case my husband doesn't find a job right away. But um, technically he's still on the military until September, so we don't have to stress about that until after that. But um, we're preparing for that right now. So for, um, I want to start off, um, I did pour out the $20 each for our Dustin's car maintenance, my car maintenance, and the motorcycle maintenance from the 22nd. So I'm going to go ahead and put that first into our, um, sinking fund. So that was for last month, or it's still this month, but... It's almost June 1st. Tomorrow is. And so we need, I, I know I need to get my oil changed soon and some windshield wipers. And I have plenty already saved for that, so I can do that without having to stress about that. Now for our June 1st through our 15th, we have our internet, which is $96.31. We have the motorcycle insurance, which is $50. We have the Mino, which is our electric. And it's, I think it's about around 30, but we put 40 with a question mark just to be safe. Um, we lost that paper, but Dustin's going to log in and pay that online tomorrow. Um, Netflix, we have $10 for Netflix and Hulu is 13 and that automatically comes out of our uh, bank account monthly is 50 and that's our monthly household items that's for toiletries and 
even include the dog food comes out of here too. So I'm putting this in here into the, our monthly household slot. And then we have, a, we put $100 for groceries. And we do need to go grocery shopping tomorrow because we're almost out of everything. And then Dustin gets 40 for his gas. But he also gets 30 for his allowance and he gets 10 for his haircut. So that's another 40 together. And that's his. And then I get um, 40 for gas. And then I get 30 for um, my personal allowance. And this kind of gives us the ability to spend um, guilt free on stuff we want for ourselves. So these are um, our personal allowances, whatever we can, we want to spend on our own without having to feel guilty for spending. And then we have our large credit card payment, which is $300. It's a little bit less than that, but we just round it up to $300. And, um, on the 15th, we'll be paying our snowball of $300 towards this one. And we will be completing our 2017 financial goal that we have set for our before we move. So we're excited about that. And we'll be on track to complete um, what we have set the number on to pay off for the, the whole entire year. So um, we're excited. So, And then on June 7th is when we pay our Harley payment, and that's $370. And then whatever's left over goes straight into savings. Because like um, we said, we're trying to save two to three months worth of expenses. So that way we won't stress about that in case we don't find a job. And um, Dustin does qualify for a severance pay. And if he gets that um, after he gets that, which is after September, um, we should be looking at being debt free. And then whatever we have saved will be our three months worth of expenses so um, um, so we won't know how that will play out until the time comes so we're not getting our hopes up on that so we're just concentrating on our now and preparing for our future and hopefully it works out the way we want it to work out and that's it thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video bye